She's got the curls, pearls, and other world. She's making videos for all you boys and girls. Hey there, Booktube, and welcome to This Is Not A Review. Today we're going to be talking about Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I've got some notes written down in my notebook that looks like a typewriter, so let's get started. The first thing I have to talk about is what did you like about this book? I liked so many things about this book. The main thing being Tiny Cooper. Tiny Cooper is this very large football player that plays on his and uppercase Will Grayson's football team. Now I call him upper, uppercase Will Grayson because there are two parts to this book. There are two Will Graysons and two different viewpoints. Um, uppercase Will Grayson is the first Will Grayson that we hear from, and the second Will Grayson that we hear from is lowercase Will Grayson, and everything he writes is in lowercase, and he doesn't capitalize anything. And David Levithan has said that that is to convey that he feels that he is a very lowercase person. He's dealing with a lot of depression and other things in his life. So he feels that he's very small and sort of um, doesn't have the right to be an uppercase person. So back to Tiny Cooper. Um, Tiny Cooper, like I said, is this huge football player on the high school football team. And he is very, 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 very gay. He's just, he's very gay. And what we're what we're reading about in this book is sort of his process of writing and directing his own musical called Tiny Dancer, which is fantastic. I love that because I love puns. We'll first start by talking about um, uppercase Will Grayson, and we've already talked about his friend Tiny Cooper, and we'll talk a little bit about Jane. Um, Uppercase Will Grayson has grown up very privileged. Um, I think both of his parents are doctors, and that's sort of, um, I think, what they want him to do in his life, and he's sort of, everyone's going through a transitional phase in this book, like all of the other young adult novels. And um, in the beginning of this book, we see him try to fit in with the group of friends, and he's sort of in the group. He's not really in the group, you know? I think everybody's probably been in that situation, and it's a horrible thing, and it sucks, but by the end of this book, we see Will sort of come into his own and um, sort of figure out where he's supposed to be. Now, lowercase Will Grayson um, has had it much harder. He's dealt with depression for most of his life. Um, he's grown up very poor and being raised by a single mother which I can relate to and I can relate to the depression because I've dealt with that on and off for such a long time since such a young age and I really appreciate the time and the thought that David Levithan put into creating this character even in writing everything in lowercase that was such that was such an amazing thing to do. That was such an amazing idea because that's how you feel. You feel like you're shrinking and smaller than everyone else and that you can't occupy the same amount of space. You feel, you try to draw yourself in as much as possible. And, um, and I love that. I love that touch. I love lowercase Will Grayson's mom and the relationship that he has with her. I love that he made her a three-dimensional character, which, you know, by the end of the book she is, and she's sort of the only parent that we hear from in this book, and um, aside from a little bit of Uppercase Will's dad, and um, I love her, and I love the way that she treats her son with only love. She doesn't try to scold or, or ask him why he's that way or why can't he fix it. She just, she tries to love him and even when he's screaming at her and, you know, picking at every little thing that she does, she doesn't retaliate at all and she just loves her son. And by the end we have a very sweet moment between the two of them and 
it was so beautiful and I really appreciated that. The second thing that I have written down in this book is how did this book make you feel? Um, this book made me feel a range of, of emotions, but mostly happy. This book, it keeps you laughing from the first page to the end, and it's witty and sarcastic, and oh, it touches on such heavy topics like homophobia and depression, but it it, it does it in such a light-hearted way, but it deals with very heavy subjects in a very light-hearted manner. And I, I, I love that about this book. And it's it was a very light read, and I think I read it in a day or two. And, oh, it was just so good. In the end, this is, this is the, my most favorite ending in a book that I've read in such a long time. The end is so good. And somewhere on the back here it says that it will have readers simultane simultaneously laughing, crying, and singing at the top of their lungs. And you're sort of doing all of those things by the end of, the by the end of this book. And so I would give this book four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed John's writing, as always, and I really, this is the first time reading any David Levithan, and I really want to read more of his stuff, and I will be doing that soon. Um, let me see, is there anything else that I haven't talked about? Oh, we didn't talk about Jane. Jane is sort of the love interest, kind of, sort of, in this book. And she gets called a music snob quite a lot because she is. And I can relate to her because I get called a music snob a lot. Um, I have a playlist on this channel if you want to check it out called The Paperback Soundtrack. And it's sort of what I listen to when I'm reading and writing. And it has um, some songs from a band called Neutral Milk Hotel. On it um, that's actually I discovered through this book and it's a weird name for a band but they're they're a pretty good band the song that it mentions a lot in here um, Holland 1945 I believe is on the playlist and it's a good song well that was my this is not a review and I hope if you have read the book that we can continue the discussion in the comments and if you haven't read the book you need to read it and anyone else that you know, make them read it too because it's a really good book. <laughs> See you next time, booktube.